last piece of this lab is to get the front end working. Um, and it's going to talk a little bit about how you want to display your products and uh, then your cart. So again, as we start looking at this, we start saying, hmm, this looks like an awful lot like um, displaying tickets. So maybe what I ought to do is go to my tickets section and look at the f uh, front end, which is going to be um, uh, described. Uh, and they say just take this whole thing and throw it into app.js so with ran with uh, all kinds of uh, boldness we're going to paste this in here and then we're going to start saying well let's see what I have to change uh, so instead of tickets I probably want to have some products and a uh, way of setting my products, so that'll be good. And uh, we will still want an error to display if we got something bad from our back end. Um, if we wanted to, I could go ahead and create new products by putting in a name and a um, price. And so uh, I could then say, well, here's how I'm going to fetch my products. And what I really want to do is go to this API for products. And um, I then want to go ahead and set my product into what was returned in my response and so that kind of will give me how to fetch things and notice that the way a set error works is I do have a um, an error at the top of my um, rendering and so that will just be set anytime that I uh, um, I encounter an error from the back end. Okay, so there's a bunch of products. I could create a product here and go to slash API slash products. And it's going to have a name and a price, which I got out of the form. And uh, there's my creating a product. And I can also delete one product and uh, passing it a product going to this API and um, putting on the product ID. And so all of this looks fairly familiar. Hopefully you're, as you work through this, you will uh, realize what is going on here in more, um, in more detail. And we want to be able to fetch the products that we just uh, got through writing up here. Uh, when things start out, again, first it'll render the page, it'll call this, it'll throw everything in. Okay, and if I wanted to, I can have something to add a product. And uh, this is a wrapper so that we can, uh, it's just basically going to call create product. And then it's going to create all the fetch all the products when it's done and set the name and the price uh, to empty strings once that we've added it. And theoretically if I want to have a delete in here 
I can put in a delete product and uh, pass it a product and I delete one of these guys um, and that should all be working too and fetch my products when I'm done and now I'm going to render this and if I wanted to I could let, let's just do the minimum uh, number of changes here so we'll leave this in here and I've got a name here uh, let's say it's a product name and here's the price and and uh, a submit button and here's where we're going to display everything that we've got. So we'll go ahead and, and do the map. And uh, okay, so this is kind of boring, but I think it would be helpful to just see that it works. You want to change your CSS probably a little bit if you wanted. So, uh, at this point, we're going to see how they want this displayed. They kind of want the name followed by the comma and then followed by the price. So, we could say, we first want this name followed by a comma followed by the price and so um, we'll go ahead and then put a button on the end here that has delete product and uh, don't really see a need to have this inside its own div probably I'm I like to err on the side of keeping things simple until I got them all working and then I'll make them uh, look prettier on the end. So let's see if this kind of works. Uh, we think we've got everything included here. So this is my app.js. I've got everything I need and if I save it out I can then uh, go inside of another terminal and make sure that I'm in the uh, front end directory here and maybe I can do something like uh, npm start and uh, see how many bugs I made here uh, set product is not defined on line 15 so let's go ahead and set product S. See if it works now. Ah, 
it looks like it compiled successfully. So now on my back end here, he's happily sitting here and we can put in a bunch of products for him. So I can do node add products and now I've got a bunch of them in there. And so theoretically, if I want to test this now, I should be able to do curl on localhost colon 8080, which is where I'm running, wherever this was. He tells me he's running on port 8080 here. So I can do a curl on that. That will do a get. In fact, if I wanted to, I could do a minus x get to make that explicit. I can look at this and uh, see what he's going to return. And uh, uh, he got something anyway. So let me go up here to my 8080. See what happens. Yay! So here we got products. I can create them. I can delete them. They're kind of looking halfway decent. Um, I think I was intending for these. these uh, but anyway, this is uh, kind of working. Uh, let's see what we really want, though, is we want to have, instead of a delete button here, we want to have an add to cart button. Okay, so let's see, I could probably uh, go ahead and um, go back into my app.js. Here's where I am kind of, first of all, I probably don't need to create a product because that we did that with our node thing. So let's go ahead and list all of our products. I think I just deleted like too much. So here's a create product. Here's my form for submit. Um, maybe it's happy. Uh, and what I would like to do is instead of calling delete product, I want this to be add to cart. And let's see if we can make this work. Um, so uh, uh, let's call this function I want to do is add to cart. I'm keeping with our convention, I'll call it do, do something like this. So now I want him to call that. I'm kind of get, be a little bit annoyed with the formatting here. Get rid of these p tags so that it all comes on the same line. And uh, if I can save this out, then I feel oh, add to cart is not defined, of course. So let's see. Instead of um, delete product. Let's call this thing, since we aren't using it, add to cart. And it's going to take a product as a parameter. And now I am going to um, uh, call uh, something to add it to the cart. So um, let's see what happens. <laughs> um, uh, we don't need this delete one product, so let's call him uh, add cart. By the way, I'm making this up, so I'm going to screw up royal here, royally here in just a second. Uh, so we'll go ahead and await on this add cart, and then I want to. Uh, fetch cart, maybe. And so let's see. Um, I'm now going to 
uh, for add cart, I want to do an Axios, I want to do a post, right, to slash API slash cart, and, uh, and then the product ID. That's actually exactly what I want. So, um, you may not do very many of these, but let's get you started with at least one route that will show you how to do things. And so I'm now going to say, um, uh, I guess we really need to fetch the cart before we can see anything. So maybe what I would want to do is in addition to my products, I also want to have a cart. And <clears throat> um, I want something that looks a lot like fetching my products here to grab my cart. And I just want to go to the route for my cart and then set my cart with the response that comes back. And uh, set cart. Okay, so now we've got fetch cart. We've got something to add it to the cart. Uh, he's just going to go to that same API, and um, theoretically, I can uh, now just have to add in a cart, right? Uh, maybe I'm going to say uh, before I list my products, I'm going to list my cart and here I want to do something fairly similar to this except This is going to be a map with my cart. And it's going to have an item here. And um, uh, this doesn't really matter because we haven't got our CSS going yet. So really, Let's just see if we can get away with doing nothing here. I guess cart will only have one thing with a particular ID in it. And um, get rid of this. And then we'll go ahead for now, let's just go ahead and display the ID. And the quantity. Sorry, this is going to take longer. I was trying to get these under 10 minutes, but it's never going to work. Okay, so uh, for now, <laughs> later on, we're going to want to put in buttons to uh, add to the quantity and take away from the quantity. Let's see if we can get this basic thing working. If it does, I will be totally amazed. So if we take a look now um, at our one warning, uh, because we never add product, that's because we got rid of all that code. So we're happy with that. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've got our cart here. Here's our products with the Add to Cart button next to them. And with some degree of hopefulness, we could uh, now go back. I'm going to look at my, uh, here's my um, backend server. 
So now I'm going to try clicking on this Add to Cart. And um, it goes to the back end. There's my post for the cart. There's my get to the cart. And uh, the, uh, we're, we probably have some more debugging to do before we get it working. But I think that kind of gives you an idea of how to create your front end, how to create your back end. And um, uh, that can get you going. So get moving on this project. Hopefully you can got enough guidance that it doesn't feel like you're hopeless. And uh, you can make progress and keep working on it and develop the skills to create something from scratch.